DVMs here coming at you with a hitchhiker problem. Majano anemones. Picked up a couple of them with some of our, you know, live rock that we had brought in the tank a while ago. And I've been kind of wanting to do this video for a while and it's just taken me some time. But we need to get rid of these little guys because they can become pests and they end up popping up all over the place in your aquarium. And when they do, although they look like little bubble tips, they're not bubble tip anemones. These guys sting the coral that they're next to, and they reproduce very fast, and they take over the area that they get into. So we're going to get rid of them today, and I know a lot of people like to do it with white vinegar, but I prefer to use the calc method, and I thought I'd film it here as we do it. Basically, what I like to do is, I like to take my calc washer here, and I take probably, oh, a good hefty teaspoon or two of it, and I mix it with a little RODI water. I don't want very much RODI water. I want to keep it a kind of a thick, heavy slurry so that I can put it into a syringe with a small needle on it. Uh, you know, 3cc needle or a little TB needle that's used for, you know, giving insulin to a diabetic. Whatever you can find at the drugstore will work. Um, but basically, I'm going to mix it into a slurry here. Once I get it to the consistency here that I want, I'm just going to suck it up into the syringe. I'm going to go over to the tank, and we're going to basically shoot it into these guys and give them a lethal dose of this kelk wasser and this stuff i mean within like that they're gonna start dying it's it works great it's a good way of getting rid of them um certainly it's it's my favorite way of 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 getting rid of them i've only had them a couple other times um this outbreak came because of some live rock that was contaminated as you can see you just stick that needle in there give a little squirt I've got the power heads off right now in the tank, which helps. And as you can see, that, you know, kelk mixture just kind of oozes out and just kills them. If you can get it right into the center of these guys, it's almost like they explode from the pressure of the kelk. I love doing it. It's just quick, easy, simple. And yeah, if you just put a little in like this, it doesn't even affect the pH of the tank. Now, granted, if you did, you know, hundreds of these in a big tank, you, you might be able to change your pH, so be careful. But again, I just poke it into the center out of them and very slowly extrude that white white calc into them it's got a ph of probably close to 12 so obviously it just takes them out right away and uh, it's very effective at what it does and once i put this needle in there and i fill them up and i do it by tomorrow these things will be gone it's just it's great i love doing it this way it's my favorite way of doing it i certainly appreciate you guys watching my video as i knock off some Manjano uh, anemones that I did not want. Yes, I know they look like bubble tips, but they're not the type of bubble tip you want in your reef. They'll take it over, they end up stinging the coral that's next to them, and they pop up all over the place. So if you see these little hitchhikers with these little bubble tips on them popping up, I highly recommend getting rid of them. Appreciate you guys watching my video here on how I got rid of these guys. Certainly, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. If you'd like to see more reef videos, and or any of our other videos that are coming out, please like or subscribe to our channel. That's what allows us to continue to make these videos and continue to put them out for you people to see. We appreciate it greatly. You guys have a great night. Thank you.